Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 35 in chapter 31. Chapter 31 is about Maxwell equation and electromagnetic waves. There, we talk about optic tweezers. So, this is a very hot research topic these days. And we can see uh, this is the laser light, right? It comes out, and then this is the object, it is there. And they so there will be a pressure by this light act on this object. And this one will make, bring the force act on this object. This force will bring the acceleration there, right? So there we need to find this uh, acceleration of this particle. So we start from very beginning. And we can see the acceleration of the cylindrical particle will be the force on it divided by its mass. So first one, we need to look at find this force act by this laser light. Uh, let's see what quantity is given. First the given quantity is du over dt equal to 1 watt, right? This one is uh, tell you uh, this is the uh, electromagnetic energy is to an area at the right of this uh, 1 watt, so du over dt. Now it tell you this is, is du over dt, this is the power. The second one, the R, this distance is given as a 5 times 10 power negative 7 meter. So there we need to write a meter there. I missed it. Now from this two uh, quantity, very easily we can consider the pointing vector. The pointing vector is the P, the power divided by A, right? So this is du dt over A. This is power, and A is a pi r squared for this cylindrical particle, right? pi r squared. Now, so this can cause a pressure on the particle, so this is a p. So now the pressure on the particle, we can use a pointing vector divided by c. c is speed of light, so right, c. Now, the force due to the pressure, we can see the force due to the pressure, we use the pressure times the cross-sectional errors. So, Pressure times cross-sectional errors, so we input the P inside and A at there, right, A at there, it looks like this one. Now we input this uh, pointing vector inside, we get the answer is there, so we write it is there, keep it is there. Now we have the force due to the pressure, we write it is there. As we talk about, this force will bring the acceleration to the cylindrical particle, right? So. This one, so this force of laser is a mass times A. A is acceleration. This is what we interest. Now, how can you determine the mass on this particle? It says this uh, particle, we can consider it as the density times the volumes, right? And the density, we consider it as water. Mm -hmm. And then this is, how can you de define the volume? So this uh, area is pi r squared times this length r. So pi r squared times r is there. Now you can see this term should equal to the mass times a, right? So input the mass inside, you get the equation, look like this one. From this equation, you can get the function for a, acceleration. Now we come to there, we see which quantity is given. du dt is given, r is given, C is a constant, right? The density for water is also given, so we input all the given quantity, we get the answer there. Thank you.